And close your eyes and watch your breath. And keep watch over your mind to make sure that it stays with the breath. You can try different ways of breathing to see what's most comfortable right now. Reminding yourself that it's good to be here in the present moment, because all the important decisions in life are being made right here. And at the same time, you have to warn yourself that if you wander off, then you're going to be missing what's happening right here. And sometimes important things are being decided and you're not there. You're like the president of a corporation who lets the underlings take over all the major decisions, and you just go off and play golf and have vacations. Of course the corporation is going to have trouble, because you're not taking good care of it. And same way with your life. You want to be right here in the present moment to see what you're deciding to do and say and think and why you're deciding. That's the important part, because all too often we do things and we wonder why we did them. Part of the mind knows, but it likes to hide itself. When we meditate, we bring these things out into the open so you can see them clearly. Because we have to look for goodness inside. There is goodness out there in the world, but the best people out there in the world are the ones who show you that you can find a more reliable goodness even inside. They may exemplify good qualities, but then they show you how to develop those qualities within you. Because even the best people have to, have to leave us at some point. If we don't leave them, they leave us. Our time here on earth is all too short. But the goodness we develop in the mind, that can carry us through, even when we leave the earth, go on to whatever next lifetime or next lifetime may be. So the goodness is found by developing good qualities inside. You start out with simple things like mindfulness and alertness. Mindfulness is what reminds you to stay here in the present moment. Alertness is what watches what's actually going on. Then there's a quality called ardency, where you decide you really want to do this well. You're not just going through the motions. This is not just a ceremony. You actually are trying to figure out your own mind. The Buddha talks about the different activities in the mind, and sometimes the, the terms he uses sound foreign to us, because after all it was a different language. But he's just simply talking about the movements of the mind, when you feel things, when you perceive things, when you think about things. These are the things that are going to shape your future, so you want to make sure that they're shaping it well. That way you can find something inside that you can rely on. So even though the goodness outside comes and goes, your goodness inside will remain solid and secure.